Is a 100 yard field goal possible in Madden 24? Today we do everything in our power to achieve the impossible, and honest to God, I think you'll be shocked. But we're gonna start things off by finding out the longest possible field goal with Trey Wolf, who has the lowest kick power in the entire game. We're gonna work our way up from the worst to best kicker in the game, the GOAT, who already has both 99 kick power and 99 kick accuracy, where we'll finally conduct some scientific experimentation to finally answer the universe's most asked question. Now let's see if Trey Wolf can just hit a simple 45 yarder, apparently with zero wind. Now I'm not gonna lie, it'd be kind of embarrassing for an NFL kicker to miss from 45 yards even though I didn't have the perfect accuracy, Trey Wolf was good. So let's back this thing up to try from 50, so technically the worst kicker in all of Madden 24 trying from 50 yards and it looks like it's gonna be perfect. Now if the worst kicker's making it from here with ease, imagine once we boost the kick sliders all the way up with the GOAT. Now backing this thing up to attempt a 55 yarder. Now can the worst kicker in the entire game make a field goal from 55 yards out? And I think it was good. I mean, he might have about what, five yards left in his leg? So backing this up for a 60 yarder. I mean, if he can make a 60 yarder, I swear, dude, Justin Tucker will make it from 200. The kick is up and it's short. How about from 57 yards instead? The kick is up and it is. Oh, I think it went through. It literally bounced off the camera and in. I mean, a 57 yarder would still be quite impressive from the worst kicker in the entire game. And I think that was through. He actually missed the camera this time. So we know 60 is not possible, but how about 59? The kick. <laughs> Oh, that's tough. Yes, my friends, it was definitely short, but I'll take a 59 yarder. Now I actually want to take a massive step backwards and see how far a zero overall kicker with zero power and zero accuracy can kick. I thought that was a fitting name. Disregard the big heads. Now, can he make this kick from literally the one yard line? Kick is up. Oh, wow. Now let's just see if that happened to be an anomaly. Yeah, dude, this kicker sucks. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt and try one more time. Yeah, dude, he's never making it from there. Now, I do want to see what the minimum rating is for a kicker to actually be able to make the shortest field goal, since obviously the zero overall kicker didn't fare too well. How about with 10 kick power and 10 kick accuracy? So how about this one? You even have a four mile per hour wind at your back. The kick! <laughs> that was even worse than zero kick power and accuracy. We'll give it one more shot here, and yeah, Dude, I think that was worse. Since that was a failure, how about 20? 18-yard field goal attempt with a kicker who has 20 kick power and 20 kick accuracy, and it's still just horrible. Come on, prove me wrong. I just don't understand. What if I, like, purposely aimed all the way to the left? Come on, prove me wrong, brother. That was even worse. Yeah, we need to try 30. Look at the circle, man. This should be good, right? 30 kick power and 30 kick accuracy has got to be enough. It has got to... It didn't even move. The ball didn't even move. So apparently being a zero overall kicker is better than 30. I'm not gonna lie, this kick like defies physics. There's just no shot that happens again. Absolutely zero shot. The kicks get worse and worse. Yes, we gotta try 40. If zero kick power is the same as 40, I'm telling you there is something wrong with this game. 40 overall kicker? What do you mean? Come on, man. I just don't understand what is happening. What if with the 40 overall kicker, I bumped the accuracy all the way up to 100. Come on, science, please prevail. The accuracy was actually the worst part about that. So what if I aimed it to the right a little bit? Come on, just a little bit of consistency here. The kick is good. So what if we bump the sliders back down to normal and try a 50 overall kicker? The field goal is supposed to be good from here. There's just no way a kicker with 50 kick power and 50 kick accuracy is the same as a zero overall. And the kick was much better. We just got to straighten it out. So if I do aim the kick to the right a little bit, come on, please be good. Please be good. End our mission misery here. Oh, wow. It actually went to the right that time. Now, we're gonna get this one right, boys. 50 kick power and 50 kick accuracy is the move. Come on. 18-yard field goal. It's good. Dare I try to move it back a little bit? This would be a 26-yard field goal, and it actually went to the right. Come on. Now, this has got to be good. Now, it goes to the left. Where's the consistency? Come on. Come on. Come on. The kick is perfect. So, 50 kick power and 50 kick accuracy is the bare 
minimum you need to be able to actually make a field goal. But it's now time to see what a real kicker can do. Harrison Butker has 96 kick power with 85 kick accuracy. And we're starting out with the max distance for the lowest rated kicker in the game. Now, I will say rather unfortunate he has a 6 mile per hour wind in his face. I still want to see if he has the leg to make it even with that wind. And I think, my boys, that went through to perfection. Well, unfortunately, now I don't even know what the wind is. But we'll try this 62 yarder. I mean, I think this should be well within Harrison Butker's range. The kick is up and it hit off the upright. Now, our man's got to be able to make a 62 yarder. He's got to. Kick is up. I have no idea. So it was a little short. I actually got good kick accuracy that time, and that time the kick was well good. That was all on me. That wasn't Harrison Butker. What about a 67 yarder? Keep in mind, this is with perfectly normal kick sliders. The kick is up, and it's gonna be well short. Well freaking short. What about like a 65 yarder? 64 works too. Turned it on a rookie so I could actually get perfect kick accuracy. Come on, Harrison. A 64 yarder, and I think it was short. We'll give it one more go. I actually got like the best kick power possible. The kick is up. Oh, that's gonna be close. By close, I mean that was like three yards short. Now we're gonna try from 63 to see if this is his max distance, which is still super, super solid. And I think it hit off the upright. Come on, Harrison, show me what you're capable of. And I think that was short again. I'm telling you, I know this is possible. I know you have it in you, Harrison. And off the upright again. I got the absolute max kick power there. The absolute max. Max and it's off the upright again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I give up. Now since this man broke my heart IRL, I want to see if he can make the 63 yarder. His kick power is a little lower, but his accuracy is better. Come on, Evan, show us that a 63 yard field goal is actually possible without adjustments to sliders. And it's off the crossbar again. You cannot kick the ball better than this. It can't go further. Oh my gosh. He even got himself a half decent win that is back. Come on, man. Third time is a charm. The 63 yard field goal is gonna be Evan McPherson's. I give up. This crossbar is my arch nemesis. Officially time for the goat of all goats to take a crack at it. Keep in mind, Justin Tucker is the highest rated kicker in the entire game with literally 99 kick power and 99 kick accuracy. So with Justin Tucker here, we should find the answer to what the max kicking distance is in Madden 24. And the first kick is easy. Harrison and Evan have nothing on this legend. And keep in mind, this is before we even boost the kick sliders all the way up to 100 to finally attempt that 100 yard field goal. Since Justin did get lucky with the win, how about a 65 yarder? Now I do think he does have the leg here. The kick is easily good. Maybe easily good was a stretch. But we'll still back this thing up a little bit. How about a 67 yard field goal attempt from the GOAT? If anybody's gonna make it, he is. The kick is up and I think it was was actually good by the skin of his freaking shaft. We'll keep on backing that thing up. Please, dear God, tell me a 69 yarder is possible. That would be amazing. Justin, please, my man, don't let me down here. A 69 yard field goal. I think it was short. You best believe though, I'm trying this again. Please, 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 it was short again. Please, oh, it's way too short. So what about a 68 yard field goal? Come on, Justin, show us that you're better than a 67 yarder and it's short again. Unfortunately, this does mean the 67 yarder is the normal in-game max. But now, my friends, it's time to get funky. For this 100 yarder to be even close to possible, we have multiple scientific steps to take. We literally boosted every single one of his ratings up to 99. Now, this is is where we boost both of the kicking sliders all the way up to 100. We have got to play at Mile High Stadium where the ball travels further. Gonna turn the game style to arcade mode and it is absolutely vital that we turn this weather to windy and hope we get lucky. I mean we got ourselves a nice little 17 mile per hour wind at our back. Now the hardest part here is actually not come on just backwards bro backwards the hardest part is getting the ball down at the one yard line honest to god this is the hardest thing to do not a safety not a safety get out of bounds perfection it's our time to shine boys with a 116 yard attempt finally the answer to all of our questions can you kick this freaking football 116 yards in madden 24 the kick is up come on carry the kick is good let's go Justin Tucker
Joker, you freaking demon! I mean, honest to God, this might have been good from 140 yards! So yes, my friends, with a little bit of science, a 100-yard field goal is in fact possible in Madden 24. Now, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, you can click right here to watch another Madden 24 experiment where I see if it's possible to go undrafted in Madden 24 Superstar Mode. And let me tell you, this might be the craziest video I've uploaded all year long.